in confidence because that's what they need right now. So here we go, guys. The Orlando Championship on the lawn. Capture the flag on Heretic. First team to capture five times will win the game. Look for teams to lock down the pink tower. They'll be flanking from Carbine. And of course, if they can control the sword, they'll get some sweet beatdowns. We're starting this game off right now with Roy from Instinct. He's making his way towards P2. Now, I'll tell you what, my key in this game is going to be is who can get control of the top and the middle of the map because we've seen it in the past. Spring that middle, toss the flag out to somebody waiting on the platform, and you can you can do some real damage quickly. It's all about setup and control, getting those guys on you know on respawn, and if somebody can get out to a two or three you know flag lead right here, that you got to just hold on to that and ride it through. And these are two of the best teams we've seen so far this tournament on the short range maps being amplified, Heretic and Onslaught. We're watching as Instinct is struggling to start this game off, but Classic isn't. Tizoxic already in the Classic base, or already inside the Instinct base. He was pulling the flag two down for Classic. We're going to stay on board with Instinct. I'll get shots on him if he goes down. Don't push right to the You're running on He's weak. He got two shots in big two. One shot. One shot, pink two. Nice shot, Scotty. Stay alive. Pink two, soldier. Pink two, Soldier's got a shot on him. Two pink two to hard needles. Pink soldier's really weak. I know, guys. I'm getting shot from the back. Pink one to hard needles right now. Stay alive, guys. Everyone's got to stay alive. Stay alive. There's a guy who picks up their base. Hide, hide, hide. Yeah, there's a guy in their base. Stay alive. I'll be left off that, guys. One shot, one shot, pink one. I'll kill flying, I'll kill nice flying. Stay alive, stay alive. Up center, shoot on the wing. One shot, keep two. T1, one shot. They're flying. They're flying, they're flying. Last two, they're flying. The ones are cars. No, car three, car three, car three. He's going to be coming, he's coming, he's going to be coming. He's going to be coming. One shot, one shot, one shot. One shot, one shot, one shot. One shot, one shot, one shot. How's our flag? How's our flag going? Where's he going? Uh, He's going where pink, 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 Base, yeah. 20 pink ones, 20 pink ones. I'll push you back to our base. So am I, so am I. You guys are at least. They're our base. Our base. We're not dying. Our, 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 our car cheek, our front jump, our front jump, our front jump. One other base, one other. One other base, one other. One other base, one other. I have your guys. No one's trying to get top center if you can. I can't go yet. Pick two, pick two. Pick two, yeah. Pick two, still pick two. Pick two, one shot. 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 Pick Oh, you guys are big guys Last guy, Last guy. Sorry, but Lunchbox is just way too good. Yeah, I just muted myself to ask our producer down low. <laughs> I was like, how good is Lunchbox playing right now? Staying alive. First off, he did the oops grenade, Scott, to clear out pick two. The double plasma taking out Ghost Ami. Stayed alive, picked up the double kill with the assassination. Now he's pushing in for a flag, and he out Ghost again. He's just on fire right now. I mean, look, he's doing everything. He's slaying, he's pulling flags. Complete team play right now. Complete team play is what we're seeing out of Instinct. And that's a hard thing to overcome. Classic right now, even though it's one-to-one, -one, they've got a lot of work to do. I I'm more impressed with the teamwork of this team. You, you, if you watch the angles these guys are taking on Instinct, it's just unbelievable. They'll shoot pink two from under their base. They'll be car side shooting pink two. They always have two or three BRs on the power points at all times. I have to say, though, Instinct definitely overextended on this last flag. It's still down P1. Roy, the last member alive, trying to keep it there. But meanwhile, Classic was able to get into the Instinct base, run a carbine, and Gosiami is going to be able to convert a cap off of it. We saw Instinct make that mistake earlier, and Classic is going to capitalize every time. And that's you know, and you're right. That's huge. That's exactly what they need to do right there, because that's 
an example of everything going your way, you're dominating, but then suddenly you make one wrong choice, one wrong decision, the other team capitalizes on it, and then you start to second guess yourself. And that's what you gotta do right here, is you gotta start to get into their head, make them question whether or not they're doing the right thing, maybe play a little bit more conservatively than they want to, so you can get yourself into a position to win this game. Because let's face it, if Classic doesn't win this one, it's Instinct's tournament. And here we go, Soldier breaking up a big double kill. Now he's got his teammate running the flag. He's gonna be stopped. It was Chig running it over Carbine side. We're gonna jump on board with Ghost Yami when we get a chance. He's sitting in his base and he's providing some incredible long range fire. This is something Karma used to do for Carbon. Yeah, Karma used to always just sit in our base and shoot Carbine. But the thing about Ghost Yami is, is he's such a versatile player that I would almost rather, I would never put him in the window. I would rather him be moving around. He's a roamer. Well, Rover. Ghost was taken out inside his window. He was taken out by Cloud, who is now running the flag. He's got Roy in front of him, watching pink side, and that is the cap we wanted to see from Instinct. The flag attempt going top middle did not work out for them. I don't expect for them to try it again this game, because running it through Carbine side seems to be working perfectly. But again, you see how quickly the momentum can shift in this game. We, we talk a lot of times, we make analogies towards like, it's a heavyweight fight. You know, they're trading blows back and forth, but that's literally what's going on right here. And it's who can sustain and maintain. If you're able to put on a constant attack, constant pressure, it's gonna give you the advantage. The problem is in order to cap a flag off and you have to overextend yourself, and then you find yourself in a situation where you're under respawn and the other team has the advantage. El Might Warrior making his way towards Top Carbine. Meanwhile, Lunchbox trying to sit up P2. Instinct really trying to take over map control, but they're unable to do it. Classic doing a great oh, job of oh, locking that, 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 that was not dirty. nice. That was not <laughs> nice. You shouldn't have won that. <laughs> Sorry about that, Ghost. Didn't mean to make you look bad. Lunchbox going for the stick down bottom pink. He was the only member alive for Instinct. Roy getting the god spawn over car two, and he's going to be able to get in behind this Classic base. And somehow oh. we stalled the sick there. Roy getting that flag return as El Might stays on fire. He got a double with a sticky grenade going for the triple. He was taken down, but it allows Roy to come in there and pick up another double. Let's jump on board with Roy. Actually, good thing we didn't because Chick just shut him down. Lunchbox sitting top middle. You see Instincts trying to spread out, spread out towards car side. But guys, this is just a free-for-all melee. Neither team able to lock down the map. I, I, you know, just as soon as someone gets control, it gets broken, or if a flag gets pulled, it's the last guy alive who's trying to guard it. It's really going to come down to who's able to capitalize. I mean, we've got about seven and a half minutes, well, seven minutes, 45 seconds left in regulation. And so as Lunchbox runs this flag, it's going to be a huge advantage that they're able to get it in because it's been so back and forth all game long. Ooh. And I have to say, guys, Lunchbox had a slight fumble, but it seemed to be a lucky one because he was able to dodge a flag grenade. But once again, Ghost Yami being able to get inside the base. Soldier 187 weakened the players. Ghost was able to finish them and get the flag return. That was a clutch return for Classic. That's a momentum breaker. Now, that's huge right there. And that's the kind of thing. It's like if you feel I got so close, you do so much work to get it that far, and then you're not able to capitalize, it can be demoralizing. You got to just bounce back. But Ghost seems to be that X Factor. Remember back in the day on Carbon, he was called the X Factor. He would come up with plays out of nowhere. And it's like, how did he do that? If he can continue to do that, it'll give his team some hope. Well, he's got Magna Boots on Ouch. right now, stuck <laughs> by that plasma grenade. And we got El Might Warrior with the sword. Let's go check him out. I want to see at least one Walrus Tusk beat down. Walrus Don't ask tusk. me, it's shibby. <laughs> okay. And right now we have Lunchbox again going carbine side with this flag. He's got Cloud clearing the way, and that perfect four shot on Ghost Ayami is going to make it easy for Lunchbox. Here we go. This can be flag number three. Is anyone from Classic in position to stop him? Yes, Chick was there. Ooh. Can't instant get to this flag. El Might oh. Warrior picking up a clutch kill, and he oh. puts it in. That's Three nice. to two. Instinct takes the lead with six minutes, 20 seconds left in regulation time. And again, that's big. Coming off a of respawn, being in the right place, capitalized, not hesitating. You can't hesitate in that situation, and El Might didn't. And Lunchbox unable to connect with the beatdown. That means there's going to be two players alive at his base, one of them being Tzoxic, who is running this flag up pink two and back down it towards his base. Anyone in position from Instinct? No, it looks like it's going to be tied up three to three. Here we go, guys. We have ourselves a game with six minutes left on the clock. And Chig with the flag up. But I'll tell you what, Tzoxic can run that flag, man. Did you yeah. see how quickly he was cycling that? And Chig did it even faster, guys. Did you see how he perfectly bounced it that down the ramp? That is two flag caps in about... I don't know, 24 seconds. Flag. flag number well, five about, in the hands of Classic. Three in a row. Look at this. Are you kidding me? This is just impressive. Oh my, oh my that goodness. A, oh! And he gets it back to his base. Elmite Warrior stopping it, but it's too late. 
to Zoxic, putting it in. Classic staying alive. And let's take a look at the stats here. 25 kills, only 19 deaths. That's a plus six for Soldier. To Zoxic putting up plus three with 17 assists. Classic really turned it on in the last minute 30 of that game, guys. They stay alive. Instinct now leads the series five to one. All right, we're going to be going to a quick commercial break. When we come back, game seven of the best of 11.